Hey guys, quick by Chemistry Basics here. Let's talk about inclusion bodies. The inclusion bodies are granules made up of organic or inorganic materials present in the cytoplasm. The inclusion bodies can be seen as granules present in the cytoplasm when observed through a microscope. The inclusion bodies are usually used for the storage purpose. The storage can include storage of carbon compounds, inorganic molecules, and storage of energy. The inclusion bodies can either be free or bound by a membrane. The examples of free inclusion bodies include polyphosphate granules, granules of glycogen, etc. Polyphosphate granules act as a reserved source of phosphate for the cells. When the extracellular phosphate level decreases, these polyphosphate granules provide phosphate which are used for ATP generation and making DNA and RNA. The granules of glycogen act as a reserved source of carbon. The glycogen granules may be free or enclosed by the membrane. The examples of other enclosed granules include PHB, carboxysome, gas vacuoles, and sulfur granules.